Today we will be taking a look at something very interesting because it's been a trend on the channel lately that we are taking a look at very interesting stuff and today we are taking a look at uh, that was meant sarcastically because I looked at a book the other week well it was an interesting book but not what it's not the things I want to make but these are two very interesting calculators by of course as we see the chicken lips by Commodore one even came with the box that I got from eBay the actual eBay not the Dutch version of eBay and the other one I got from eBay and why do I want to test these today's because it's not the first time that I show them on the channel but I bought something else which might be a little bit more interesting well that of course depends on what you find interesting but I got a computer that of course will soon appear on the channel I'm not gonna say what computer yet but it came with this realistic that might say something about the brand of the computer too with this realistic cassette deck well it says mini set but it came with this and it still works And this was used uh, for loading a computer programs to that computer and the computer programs were also included so I hope that I can archive those to my soon to open internet art well I wanted to say internet archive but of course that name is already taken up but I, I want to upload the cassettes that came with that computer to my own personal retro software archive that will be available it will be called retromelsarchive.com but that's the story for another day but this cassette deck came with a very interesting power supply well I, I realized later that it was very interesting it came with this audio sonic power supply first I didn't look at it that much but then I realized that it had these jacks and normally these jacks would be used for like audio purposes but I remembered that my two Commodore calculators and probably a lot of calculators uh, from back in the day used that port for power and this is powered as you can see by 4.5 volts and it turns out that this power supply also can output 4.5 volts so that's very nice and in this short video I want to test this calculator which is a GL997R with an interesting serial number so I think that this might be the 34th unit build. I'm pretty sure someone in the comments can get me out of that dream, but by, for now we'll just assume that this was the 34th unit build. And then I have this other calculator by Commodore, and this is a GR25 with a more generic serial number. And we're going to break the rules because we're not going to use this adapter DC420B. Now we're gonna use this Audiosonic adapter to uh, test these two calculators and do some simple calculating stuff with them. One plus one, two times two, I think. By the way, I had some audio issues when I was trying to record this because I got these, these like these transmitters and they for some reason they work okay with my ZV1 but I tried to connect them to my Panasonic HC VX1 and there was a lot of interference so now I'm in an emergency situation and I fear that the sound is also not so good but now I'm using this zoom field recorder with the lavalier connected to it hopefully that audio is a little bit more nice to listen to because the interference that came with this one I'll, I'll, I'll edit some of the or the first clip I'll edit it in the audio is a bit weird I'm, I'm trying these it's terrible but back to the calculators um, we're just gonna power them on and see what their displays look like if they can calculate and then we're going to wrap up this video with the promise that future videos will be a little bit more interesting so let's start with the GR25, GR9R25, and we have power in my first attempt. It had took some time to power up, and as you can see, we have a zero and one plus one is two. So it still works. I'm doing some very difficult calculations. Gotta say that it's a very crisp display and it looks very nice. I like that the keys are still white. I, I think it was kept in the pouch, the original pouch in storage, which which is a good thing. Let's take a quick look at all the digits. Very 
very nice. It's an interesting calculator, but it just calculates. Let's move over to the other one. Ooh, that looked dramatic. There's two seconds of charge in the rechargeable battery. Moving over to the GL997R, which is the 34th unit, in my opinion. I wonder what just jack. Could have power. Now that I'm thinking, if I'm, I'm, we're taking a look at the calculator, but I wonder because I also have a Timex Sinclair 1000, which might use this plug or this plug. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm wondering if I could power that with this because I know that you can use an Atari 2600 power supply with the Timex Sinclair and I have a, an Atari 2600 but I haven't tried that yet so we put power on this calculator and then we turn it on and we have a zero and we can do some calculations and I, I think that this one is a little bit broken because when I show it there's always a, a little bit of a more brighter digit in the second digit and I fear that this is a very simple setting that I just need to turn off but I'm not too familiar with old calculators I never got further than a multiplying that is why I call this an amateur channel but Anyways, it's still a very nice calculator as we take a look at all the digits with one being slightly brighter than the others. But still, a nice calculator, although if I would have to choose, I prefer this design. This one is a little bit more beat up and I think this one isn't painted, which is always better. Painted plastics don't last. So that wraps up this video on two lovely uh, Commodore calculators and this of course is what started Commodore and would later result in awesome stuff like the VIC-20 and the Commodore 64. Although maybe these are from the same era, I'm not sure. I didn't look them up. Although on my website I believe there's uh, info on when they were released. But these are two very nifty calculators, I promise that the upcoming videos will be a little bit more exciting and show some actual computers not books about computers and we'll find out to which computer this realistic mini set belongs and if we can archive those cassettes but for now i want to thank you for watching